Have you ever seen an animal captured in ice? As you know, at some point animals pass away and leave behind skeletons. That way it is hard to understand how the prehistoric animals that lived more than 30,000 years ago functioned, how they lived, or even how they looked like. Thus, animals that were captured in permafrost wear the golden nugget to clarify these questions. But how was that possible, and which animals survived that long? Today we're going to discuss five prehistoric animals that were preserved in ice, and at the end I added a bonus question that may release a discussion. Number one, Zur, the wolf pup. Zur, a mummified wolf pup who lived 57,000 years ago, was found by a miner in Canada's sparsely populated Yukon Territory. She is 100% intact, the only thing missing is her eyes. A paleontologist named Julie Meachin declared that this is the most complete wolf mummy that has ever been found. Number 2. Sparta and Boris, the lion cubs. Both Sparta and Boris lived in the Pleistocene epoch. They were found in the Siberian permafrost in 2017 by mammoth tusk collectors. The two cubs aged one to two months old. Scientists suspect that both puppies died in landslides. Sparta was a female cave lion cub that has been declared to be the best preserved animal found from the Ice Age. The next animal was most likely prey for our two little lions. Number three, Yukagir bison. As you might thought, they lived at the same time period. The steppe bison was also found in the Siberian permafrost in 2011. Scientists estimated that this specimen was nearly 9,000 years old. Most of her fur and internal organs were remarkably intact. In 2022, researchers in Russia completed a necropsy on an 8,000-year-old steppe bison that is so well preserved, some scientists believe it could be cloned using intact chromosomes extracted from the bison's skin, muscle, and wool. Number four, frozen foal. A group of mammoth tusk hunters unearthed the nearly intact remains of a 42,000 year old foal during an expedition to Siberia's Batagaika crater. Preserved by the region's permafrost or permanently frozen ground, the young horse showed no signs of external damage, instead retaining its skin, tail, and hooves, as well as the hair on its legs, head, and other body parts. Scientists are set on cloning the foal, a member of an extinct species called the Lena horse. For cloning, the researchers are focusing on muscle cells and internal organs. Even there, finding DNA in good enough condition for cloning is a big challenge. DNA starts to degrade soon after an animal's death, even in excellent preservation conditions such as permafrost. Number five, woolly mammoths. The 30,000-year-old baby woolly mammoth, also known as Mammuthus primigenius, was found by gold miners in Canadian permafrost in 2022. The 4.5 feet or 1.4 meter long mammoth remains belong to a female calf and are so well preserved the prehistoric animal's hair and skin are still intact. Scientists estimate it died at the age of one to two months. The mammoth, named Nun Cho Ga, meaning big baby animal, is the most complete mummified mammoth found in North America. It is at the same size as Liuba, the 42,000-year-old baby mammoth found in Siberia in 2007. Some of the mentioned prehistoric animals are correlated with the ones that live today. As example, the mammoth that is correlated with elephant, or the steppe bison that is highly correlated to the modern American bison. As promised, I will deliver one question that may wonder yourself. Should we revive those prehistoric animals back to life, or should we leave them in the past? Write your answer in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, until next time.